Hey there, welcome back to Dude We Can Fix It. Today we're going to talk about faded, foggy, oxidized headlights like this one right here. Oxidation happens when chemicals in plastic react with oxygen in the air, leading to degradation. Plastics become physically abrased or are subject to sunlight, moisture, and high temperatures. Ultraviolet radiation breaks down plastics via photo oxidation. As the plastic degrades, it can become faded, yellow, and cracked. Plastic with cracks can allow moisture to get inside and fog the lens, which will further reduce visibility. So all of this causes two distinct issues. First, it compromises your safety by reducing your visibility at night. When your headlights are foggy, hazy, faded, or yellowed, the light trying to travel through it does not travel as far and it does not illuminate the area that you're driving very well. So you have a reduced field of vision, which makes it more likely that you will get into an accident or not see an obstacle in the road. Second, it looks terrible and it reduces the resale value of your car. So for the aesthetics on your car, it's best to have nice, clear, new looking headlights. How do we fix it? So there are many temporary methods to remove Remove the oxidized plastic on top, revealing a nice, clean lens. First is applying toothpaste, which has abrasives on the inside of it that you can use to scrub off the oxidized layer. Second, we have bug spray. We will use that and try to scrub out and buff out the oxidized layer and see how well that works. Next, we have WD-40. We will try to apply that and scrub it in to buff off the oxidized layer of plastic. Next, we have our rubbing compound, which, like toothpaste, has abrasives inside of it. Now, all of these methods that we just talked about are temporary because they do not protect plastic underneath. And the last method that we're going to be trying is the Chris Fix method. We're going to use a slightly finer grit sandpaper than he uses in his video, just so that we don't score the plastic headlights as much. So we have 600 grit sandpaper, we have 1000 grit sandpaper, and we have the Rustoleum American Accents 2X Ultra Coverage Gloss Clear, non-yellowing and UV resistant formula so that it will protect the plastic from yellowing and UV radiation, which is what makes this the longest lasting remedy over all of the other methods discussed here. All right, so to begin, we're going to wash this headlight lens off with soap and water to get any debris, dirt, and grime off of this. That way we're not rubbing it farther into the plastic. All right, so now we are ready to begin scrubbing on our toothpaste. We'll just take and apply a generous amount to the surface of the headlight. And then we will take a paper towel or a rag and we will rub it in. Let's just begin by smearing this all over and then we'll start rubbing it in. And so for this, it doesn't really matter which way you rub it in. It is a good idea to go in as many directions as possible. All right, so that's the first round. I'm going to do one more application of the toothpaste. All right, so let's see the results from the toothpaste scrubbing. Check that out. You can definitely see the difference right here along this line. This side is much more hazy than that side there. However, this side here is still a decent bit hazy. It's definitely clearer, but perhaps with a few more applications of the toothpaste and maybe a more durable cloth like a rag may have done better for actually uh, scrubbing that down. Let's go ahead and do the bug spray on our next headlight. So on this headlight, we're going to try using bug spray to clear the foggy lens. Once again, we will start by cleaning it with some soapy water. So now we're going to spray some bug spray on here and rub it in with a paper towel. Oh, that's wild. You can see the oxidation like liquidizing on here. See how yellow that is right off the bat. All right, let's do a second application. So 
So when we initially cleaned the lens with the bug spray, it looked like it cleared up a lot and it looks like it took a lot of the oxidation off. However, when I rinsed it off some water and dried it, it immediately became foggy again. So I'm not sure how this would normally work if maybe I should just leave the bug spray on. I'll go ahead and try that again now, but I'm sure if you were driving and it started raining, this would probably end up happening again. And honestly, at this point, I'm not sure which side is better or which side is worse. Just from my observations here, the bug spray looks like it is not very effective. When I originally sprayed it on and cleaned it, it definitely seemed to have cleared it up a lot, but as soon as it got wet, it got foggy. So this might work for a day, especially if it's sunny, it might work for a week, but I don't expect this to hold up for any considerable length of time at all. Now let's go back and take a look at the toothpaste and compare. Over here you can see where we scrubbed the toothpaste on on this side of the lens versus the lens that did not get cleaned with toothpaste and it is still even after being rinsed considerably clearer than the other side. Same cannot be said for the area that we sprayed with the bug cleaner. So neither of these solutions is a good solution so we're going to press on and look for something a little bit better. Let's go ahead and try out the WD-40 method. I've already cleaned off this headlight previously with soap and water. So I'll go ahead and tape off a section here. And now we're just going to spray some WD-40 on this section of headlight and rub it in with a paper towel. So what's interesting is there's not a lot of residue on the paper towel, so I don't feel like it's actually taking any material off of the headlight. So it's not removing any oxidation, it's just clearing it up or giving it sort of a wet look. Let's go ahead and spray another round of WD on here. So far, the WD-40 looks the best. That being said, I'm curious what it'll look like after it gets wet and dry. Well, at this point, I actually can't even see the separation between the WD-40 and the uncleaned lens. I can still see the separation between the toothpaste and the normal lens. All right, so WD-40, it definitely cleared it up pretty good while it was fresh on there, but as soon as water got to it, it, it just fogged right back up. And I actually cannot even tell the difference between where the WD treated section stops and the untreated section starts. So that was a complete wash on that. And the toothpaste, you can definitely see that it is still a little bit more clear than any of the other treatments that we've done thus far. All right, so for our next remedy, we have some turtle wax rubbing compound. This is a compound that has grit built into it, much like toothpaste. It is specifically formulated to rub out imperfections in paint. Preferably, we will put it on with one of these lint-free applicator rags or a lint-free towel. However, for comparison's sake, I will start out by applying it with just a paper towel as we did with the other remedies. So we'll put a nice big dollop on our paper towel. We'll smear it around on our lens and then we'll proceed to rub it in. All right, I'm going to use just a normal rag, a little shop towel to do the second coat. I feel like I'll be able to get a little bit more pressure with this, a little more abrasive to help scrub off some of this oxidation. So once again, I'll just smear this around on there. So we are done putting the turtle wax rubbing compound on this section of the headlight. So let's peel this off and see what kind of difference we have. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of difference on this one from the original area. You can see the line that's a little bit clearer. And then where the bug spray is actually looks foggier. You can't even see the, uh, the housing for the light bulb. Whereas this one you can see it and that one you can also see it. Out of the methods that we have so far, I feel like the toothpaste has done the best job. 
So on to the next one. All right, so now for our last method, we're going to be doing the Chris Fix method. So we're going to start by taping off the area around the headlight so that we do not scratch it up with the sandpaper and also so that we do not overspray onto the painted surfaces with the clear coat. So now we're going to use this wide painter's tape to give us a nice big lip all the way around. That way when we block this off with some paper towels or a trash bag, the way that Chris Fix does, we will have something to stick to. Now we will go ahead and clean the lens off with some water and soap. Now we will start out with our 600 grit sandpaper. If you have a heavily scored lens, you may want to start out with 400 grit and just lightly abraze this whole area like I'm about to do and then upgrade to 600 grit and then do 2000 grit after that. So we're going to wet the sandpaper and do a wet sand. The water acts as a lubricant so that we don't gouge the headlight with the sandpaper because we're not trying to gouge it. We're trying to just get the oxidized layer off the surface. And you can already see this milky fluid coming off of here. That is the oxidation that we are scrubbing off the surface of this lens. Look at all that. So we're going to continue to do this until we don't see any more milky fluid coming off of here. We want to get as much off as we possibly can. That way we have nice clean plastic to work with. So now the last step that we're going to do with our 600 grit sandpaper is we're going to sand this horizontally. Um, Chris Fix likes to do this because it says it leaves the last set of grooves going horizontally. That way when you're spraying the clear coat on, it has something to grab to as it's going down. Little, little ridges to set into instead of just running off. So we'll give this a quick sand going horizontally. We'll rinse this light off. And already you can see how this light no longer is yellow, like this lens directly below it. It is a little bit hazy and you can sort of see the surface scratches from the sandpaper. So now we're going to move on up to our 2000 grit sandpaper. We're going to use the same process here. We are going to do small circles with the finer grit sandpaper. Now we're going to finish this up by once again doing a final horizontal sand to give that clear coat something to grab onto as we spray it in. All right, so at this point, I'm going to go one extra step that Chris Fix does not do just to make sure that we have a nice mirror polish on this before we start spraying our clear coat on. I'm going to go ahead and use this rubbing compound to further smooth out this lens that we just sandpapered. Putting this on here is going to release some more grit. So we're gonna put a dollop on there and we're just going to rub this straight into the lens. And this is gonna give it a really nice sanded finish, really nice and smooth. So now we're going to go ahead and rinse off all this rubbing compound with water and wash this lens with some soap. And we'll do a final cleaning on the lens with some isopropyl alcohol to make sure that this is very clean. Alcohol is great for this because it dries quickly on its own. It'll evaporate away and it will leave a very nice clean on here and we'll be ready to go ahead and spray our clear coat. We'll dry this off with a lint-free paper towel. And already you can see how nice this lens is looking. As it dries, you can see that the haze 
comes back from the sanding process. You can see there's a couple areas that aren't quite dry yet, but you can see how clear that lens is going to be. Now, while that finishes drying, what we need to do, we need to mask off all the areas around the lens so that when we spray our clear coat, the overspray does not get on our finished painted surfaces. Now we're just going to spray a light coat to begin. You're supposed to hold this between 10 to 16 inches away from the surface. We're going to have a total of three coats on this at five to 10 minute spacing. That's the first coat. All right, let's go ahead and apply the second coat. Now it is time to apply the third and final coat. Wow, this headlight looks almost new. I would say that this repair is definitely the best repair that we have done today. So we do need to let this sit for 24 hours to get the full effect on the clarity so that this paint can dry completely. But that looks fantastic. Wow, look at the contrast between the freshly restored headlight and the turn signal lens directly below it. Now note that both of these lenses looked exactly the same before we did this headlight restoration. So you can see the difference in clarity between the headlight on the top and the lens on the bottom. That is really impressive. So that is how we clean the oxidation off of our headlights to regain visibility and increase the resale value of our cars by making them look more aesthetically pleasing. So of all the products that we have here, I can tell you that the bug spray did not work very well. The WD-40 did not work very well. The rubbing compound was decent. The toothpaste surprisingly did quite well. And then the Chris Fix method of sanding down the oxidation and then covering it with a new layer of clear coat is the definite winner. If you have an old headlight like this and you need to clean it up so that you can regain visibility at night and make your car look nice once again, this is definitely the method that I would recommend. It's under $20 for all of this stuff. If you have an idea that you think is better than all the methods that we have here, or maybe it's just a good alternative that is cheaper or easier to do, leave it in the comments below so we can check it out and investigate it as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your bell notifications for future videos. And as always, dude, we can fix it.